And welcome into a special edition of the Backstage Pass, of course, live in Music City here in Nashville, Tennessee. Exciting to kick off the week here. Uh, it is CRS 2022, presented by our good friends over at Bangtail Whiskey, MitchBacks.com, Hank Jr. Productions, and of course, our friends over at Beaumont's Fast Signs. So appreciate our sponsors making the trip possible. This is kind of a special edition down here at the Music City Media offices on the Music Road down here, and just enjoying a good time. Ate some good food last night, so I know Jeff and Kirsty are having a good time doing some stuff behind the scenes. Uh, Brandon Morrell here as we kick off our coverage for CRS Week, and of course, tomorrow at the Omni. And over the next two and a half days, some of the best and brightest interviews out there for uh, your pleasure and your viewing pleasure. We'll upload as many as we can. We can't guarantee we'll do them all, but of course, we'll get back to Texas next week and put a lot of good stuff out there. If you have comments, feel free to leave them in the comment box. Please welcome in as we kick off the coverage here, Michaela Lane, National Recording Artist. How's it going? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Well, we, we made this possible, and the lady holding the camera made this possible yes, too by having did. us down here uh, for the media day. Well, since we last talked, we were talking a little bit before we went live. The EP did real well uh, last year. I think it's been over a year since we talked. A lot of new stuff coming out. Uh, exciting week for artists here. Uh, CRS week, Writer's Round, which I went to last night. This has to be just a great week for you guys as artists to showcase your talents and a lot of new stuff you're coming out with. It is. This is my first time at CRS, um, and it's really cool so far. I've had a few interviews and then this one. Um, but actually, yesterday, I went into the studio, actually right down there, all these studios, okay. um, and I recorded my new single that I'm going to be releasing, and then we recorded a few more that I'm going to be releasing over the course of this year. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I'm working with Jimmy Ritchie, and I wrote a few of those songs with Bridget Tatum. She's a great writer, and it was so much fun to write with her. But that that stuff has kind of taken on a whole new sound. Um, I was talking to you about Wade Bowen and all mm -hmm. those kind of new tex Texas artists, and um, they're, all those artists are a really big influence of mine and kind of the um, authentic, organic sound of having like a real live band in the studio instead of kind of like having them send over things to you or playing to more um, program sort of like faker sounds, I guess is the word, um, which I really love all that stuff, but I feel like this stuff is more me. So um, the Miles From Nowhere stuff was very much more on track of what I want to be doing. And this, this new project that we just did was even more on that route. So ambush is the upcoming single mm -hmm. and i'm going to be releasing that end of march beginning of april sort of time frame um and i actually wrote that one with john conrad and he actually produced the miles from nowhere ep mm -hmm. and he's my guitar player band leader all that sort of thing so we spend a lot of time together and we did that one it was a lot of fun that's the one i talked with you about and um ever since then our, my sound has kind of changed to more southwest western country um a lot of my influences for this new ep have been um cody johnson george Strait, ian munsick um ian munsick's really different i don't know if you oh, yeah. listen to his stuff but I, I really love his kind of take on combining western country with modern country and kind of getting both both mm -hmm. sides but yeah so that's what i've been working on um we just did that yesterday and then i'm going to Jimmy's house to record vocals tomorrow for this new single, but I'm really excited. We're hoping to do a video and um, really get behind this one because it's a really different song. We're actually going to perform it today for you, I think. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what I've been up to. It's been a lot of fun getting a new sound and trying to reach some more people. When you find your sound as an artist and kind of, you know, being authentic and know who you want to be and it's great to follow the other great people out there that, that do so many great things here in Music City. How do you kind of find yourself and kind of, uh, everybody's tough on themselves in anything they do, but how did you kind of know when Michaela Lane, the artist, was going to kind of just jump out and be the artist that you want to be when it comes down to just being authentic and true and writing songs from the heart, things like that? Um. Well, I know my whenever I first started, I kind of, I was really focused on, okay, let me see what other people are doing that's working and let me do that. But I realized kind of as I've kept going with um, doing more, playing more, meeting different people, just doing it all, that that's not what you do at all. You're supposed to kind of do something totally different than what's working because, you know, you no one's going to want to hear the same thing all the time. So you need to do something different. So that's kind of what we're doing with this record because there's not a lot of females in country music that are 
doing this type of music, you know, uh, Miranda has always been an influence of mine because honestly, I don't listen to a lot of female artists, but she's one that I do listen to regularly. And I really like where she's going with her new, if I was a cowboy, that whole type of brand and look mm -hmm. and sound. So um, there wasn't really like a light bulb moment. It was just kind of over the course of time. And I've always been authentic to what I like. It was just trying to convince other people like, okay, I like this. You're going to, you're going to like this too. I'm not just going to conform to like what you like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. kind of, it's kind of just something you have to figure out on your own, but um, my dad is really big on authenticity and like making sure things are done right. So he's been a big part of making sure that everything looks, sounds, um, and feels like me because, um, we do live a specific lifestyle, kind of a Western lifestyle from Oklahoma and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. And that's all he's done, that and oil and gas. So uh, he's been a big help on that too. But it, it really wasn't a light bulb moment. It was just kind of doing things over the course of time and then figuring out what's really me. We're going to have a guitar player come in here in just a second. I wanted to ask you about songwriting. I know we talked about this last time, but it's always good to kind of refresh the audience's memory. Songwriting itself, when you put it into words, what's the best part of the process you enjoy the most? Well, I, um, I'm not really the best at coming up with the lyrics. I really love the whole melody side of things and the way things sound. Whenever I'm writing with somebody, I'm really looking forward to like the whole end pro pro product mm -hmm. um, and kind of how it's going to sound, the whole style it's going to take on, little like guitar parts or like little sounds here and there. So that's really what I look forward to do, to, to being a part of, but the lyrics are not something that comes really naturally. But I can come up with, I feel like melodies pretty okay. And uh, just kind of hearing what the song is going to be like when it's done instead of right where it is in the moment. In the moment. So the mix and mastering in the studio. Yes, sir. Production of it, no doubt. We got to go to Riders Round last night at Christian one. It was fantastic to just hear him set up there and play acoustically. The mm -hmm. phenomenal talents. We got to see Brianna Dominica and a whole bunch last night that uh, was at Cabana Taps. So I'm going to bring in the guitar player here and. Uh, Forgot his name? This is John. He's All right, actually John is going to be here. Yes. I'm stepping out. It is the backstage pass here live at uh, Music City Media Offices, kicking off our coverage for CRS 2022. And thanks for the sponsors again. Uh, Beaumont Fast Signs, MitchMax.com, Hank Jr. Productions, and our good friends, Brandon Bank. Over at Bangtail Whiskey, check them out, EasyLiquor.com. And you can, of course, download that and get the bottle sent directly uh, to your door. So Josh replaces me, and we're continuing the coverage. Here we go.
Good stuff, no doubt. <laughs> Thank Great. you. And Josh playing too makes that thing. It's, like, it's routine right there. It's like muscle memory on that guitar, no doubt. Back here live, the Music City Media offices. Brandon Morrell here with the superstar Michaela Lane. You can check her out, of course, on all the social media out there. Uh, thanks to our sponsors for CRS 2022 live here in Nashville. Uh, Mishmax.com, Hank Jr. Productions, and of course our good friends over at Bangtail Whiskey and Whole Mont, uh Fast Signs. So when you talk about lyrics, and we talked about that with songwriting, and just a phenomenal song, and it can do so many things out there with the lyrics and hit people in different ways, especially the title of it, Ambush. And mm -hmm. How did you guys come up with the lyrics and the backstory of this one? Because that's very, very intriguing. A song like this just comes to life. It really does. So um, this one, we were, we were kind of thinking about the whole project as a whole. And like I said, my inspirations were kind of more of the whole Western country. So we tried to bring in that whole Southwest feel. And it's got like the lines, yippee ki mm -hmm. and all that sort of thing. So um, it was all very accurate on that, that side. But we were also, you know, love songs are a very typical thing to write about. They're, I feel like they're predictable. And once you hear the title, it's very easy to, you know, kind of tell what every love song's about. So we... Um, we kind of took a spin on a love song and we were like, how do we make this kind of tie in with the whole Western kind of outlaw desert type of thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ambush is like a total thing that make, yeah. everybody knows. Um, and we were kind of like, okay, well this person in the song could be ambushed by this other person who they wouldn't, the last person they would have thought of or someone they would have never expected into um, falling in love with them or, um, wanting to be with them so that's kind of how it came about was just kind of tying the two together and making it unexpected um because like I said love songs are normally predictable mm -hmm. so we wanted to make it unpredictable which I think we did because I wouldn't expect the song ambush to be about that so yeah. and when it comes to this coming out you're looking at into March April somewhere yes, sir. In there. somewhere in there but I think it's going to be more towards end of March and I know you were talking about the music video, too, at the same time. Uh, you guys a place to shoot that, plans for that. Talk about so that we don't have, or I at least don't have, like, a storyline, per se. Mm -hmm. But I've been watching videos and kind of writing lists down of directors of whose work I really like um, or videos that I think are done well or that would fit kind of this whole look. And um, we're thinking kind of like a whole back-in-time type of thing, like how the Old West, like yep. the – the westerns were shot um so we're i'm kind of wanting to go for that type of look we want to do it in texas or oklahoma because it's really close to us mm -hmm. um and i think both would serve the purpose well but there we don't have the specifics on that yet but um we're really wanting to do a video because i think this could be a really cool song for a video tell me about i guess the challenges in this business because everybody knows it's called a 10-year town and i'm talking to artists everywhere i go and of course even on the show here itself um longevity the people have been doing this for a long time the travel the sacrifices that family makes you have to make as an artist things like that what's the most challenging part of this industry uh, well i would say there's a lot of challenging parts but i would say the most challenging part for me is trying to get people on board with what i'm doing because it's hard for people who've been around and kind of like got in a niche in the way that things work like every day this is what you do you don't do anything but this i think it's hard for sometimes people here to think outside of the box and take a chance on someone who's wanting to do something different or uh someone who's younger and has a vision on something that is different than what other people are doing i think it's sometimes hard for people to get out of the normal normal way that things have been and try something else risk taking i guess is the thing risk taking. I've always been around my dad who that's kind of like what he does as a job is taking risks mm -hmm. every day. So it's hard for me. It, it gets frustrating for me um, whenever people are like, mm, I don't know. I'm probably not. We'll wait a few years. That's like the most frustrating thing for me to hear. Um, so I'd say that's probably the most challenging thing is just getting people to get on board with what you're doing and really want to be a big part in it and like really help you get there. But I've been really fortunate to find it. Pretty much everyone on my team um, did that immediately, mm -hmm. so that was that was really helpful and blessed for that. But it, it it is hard whenever you want certain people to get in get on board with what you want, and they're just like, mm, I don't know. But I'll say that's probably the most challenging thing. On the certain side of it too, like I said, she's going to be a superstar too. I was going to ask you about this. Uh, you know, the, another season of American Idol starts this weekend. I think it's season twenty on 
ABC with the judges. I mean, I find myself getting attached to different reality shows like that, The Voice, and of course, America's Got Talent. Where do you kind of see that fitting in, how that's really changing a lot of artists who may not otherwise have a chance to put out their music and profile themselves and get on a platform like that? Is it a good thing for the industry, bad thing for the industry? I mean, they're great competitions, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of work going into it. And then when an artist gets off, what I hear too is, man, the real work begins when you get off a platform like that. Yeah, I would say it's definitely both. I think it has um, some pros and cons. I think that the pros are, you know, if, if you get on there, it's national television, you'll get a ton of exposure, social media goes up, um, people start to know your name. But then again, I think sometimes it's, it's, uh, you get, you know, another good thing about it is you, you get practice in front of live television, live audiences, the pressure of having mm -hmm. someone like say yes or no to what you just do and what you want to do for a career. Um, so I think that is all really good practice and building you up for this, but I would agree with the real work starts, um, not saying that that's not real mm -hmm. work, but like the really everyday, like really getting after it work starts when you're off because you don't have people that are like, you're, no one's going to do it for you. You've just got to do it yourself. So I think that's, that's difficult to do when you get off because you have to, you have to pick up the phone. You have to make the calls. You have to drive, you have to do this, this, and this. And I think some people get on there and think, Oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get on there. And it's just, people are going to come to me and that's definitely not how it works. So I think, I think there is pros and cons to both of it, but, um, I don't really watch those shows much. So I don't, I don't really know the people who's on there who have been on there. I've had a few friends that have been on The Voice, and they said it's pros and cons, like I said. But I, I think I don't think it's necessarily good or bad. I think it's kind of in the middle. It's a good answer. I like it too as well. Well, we have got time for one more. If you want to sing one more for us today, or it's, it's totally up to you. Like I said, your choice. And uh, Josh is so great when he gets our one. I bring it back into as well. Yeah, thanks to uh, to the sponsors out there, MitchMax.com. Of course, that's the official site for. Them. Backstage Pass merchandise, and of course, our good friends over at Bangtail Whiskey. Check them out, easyliquor.com. Get the bottle uh, sent directly to your store, to your uh, door. And of course, Beaumont Fast Sides and Hank Jr. Productions for making CRS 2022 possible. Tomorrow we're at the Omni, Thursday we're at the Omni, and Friday we'll wrap up with about 30 shows in two and a half days. So it's going to be real busy. And uh, just some great, great artists. John Barry is going to be down there with us. And of course, a whole lot of other up and coming artists here in Nashville, Tennessee. The best and brightest. You'll take into the Backstage Pass here. Uh, Josh, you're coming in, and one more for you, then we're going to wrap it up. Rapid Fire's coming. I'm going to hit her with a new a set of funny questions for Rapid Fire in just a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Enjoy the music. What song are we doing? Um, we'll, we'll do one that, that we haven't played for anybody. Um, this one is one we recorded the other day, too. It's called Dust. This is one I wrote with Bridget Tatum. <laughs>
Gotta love it. <laughs> Thank you. No doubt. It was a great performance there. Of course, Josh, so kudos out there for guitar. Again, it's the Backstage Pass Live here. Music City Media Offices as we kick off CRS 2022. Again, Michaela Lane with us. And tell people where they can find you out there on socials. So my Instagram is Michaela Lane Music. Um, Facebook, Michaela Lane Music. My YouTube is just my name. Spotify, just my name. Twitter is Michaela Lane Band because Michaela Lane Music was already taken on that. Um, and everywhere else is just my name. So it should be easy enough. Easy enough to find. M-I-K-A-Y-L-A. Just to yes, make sure sir. that's clear out there too. Yes, sir. Again, thanks to the sponsors for making it possible out there too as well. All right, let's do a couple of rapid fire ones. Uh, okay. Got to eat some good places here last night. One of the pizza places. I uh, can't think of the name right offhand, but it was actually really good. Uh, me and the team did. But Hattie B's continues to be this this hot chicken place. People say go to any other good spots you can say in this town you go to for food. What do you like? Arnold's. Arnold's. Arnold's is so freaking good. <laughs> Except it's only open for like certain hours. I think it closes at like two, but you can get it for lunch. Oh. It's so good. It's like it's like country cooking. Ooh, okay. And they've got right. like the best bread pudding. Oh, bread so pudding. good. Watch out, man. All right. All right, let's talk about this. If you could have a dream duet with anybody in this town or just a stage to step on, dream stage to play. I mean, obviously, a lot of people on the show do talk about the opera and things like that. But uh, if there was a great dream collaboration for you, which band or which artist would you choose? Uh, probably King George. King George. So, you know, easy enough. Too, right? yeah. Love easy that enough. Too. All right. So on my pizza last night, I got pepperoni sausage, and I was sharing with people. And I ate one piece, and it's kind of always funny when we pull this question out of the bag. Ordering a pizza just for Michaela Lane, and nobody else can have a slice. What toppings go on? Bacon and cheese. Bacon and cheese. See, that's perfect for breakfast pizza. And ranch. And ranch. ranch. Gotta have. Ranch. Gotta have the ranch too. Ranch. All right. Uh, dream destination vacation. If you're gonna go somewhere just for leisure, where are you going? Um, Australia or Bora Bora. That's one of my towns. That's why this girl's awesome. Bora Bora, I'd love to have the money to go over there too. Uh, all right, let's do this one, kind of wrap it up here. Uh, you wake up in the morning, your bank account, you won the lottery. What's the first thing Michaela Lane would do with the money? Buy a uh, King Ranch 450. Do it. Oh, man. <laughs> Those I like things that. are nice. I love that. That's, that's, they, I tell you what, they tow a lot too. They have a lot in that truck, man. No doubt about it too as well. Well, thank you so much for kicking off the coverage with us here. We've got a lot of interviews coming up over the next two and a half days. Uh, best of luck with Ambush and, of course, going forward. And we always know your parking spots reserved right here when it comes to us being here in the state of town or back in Texas. Uh, superstar in the waiting here, Michaela Lane. Be sure to follow her out there, too, again, at CRS 2022, live here at the uh, Music City Media offices. Thanks so much for being with us. And, hey, thank continue you. success going forward. Thank you so much. Again, thanks to the sponsors of MitchMax.com, Hank Jr. Productions, and, of course, Beaumont Fast Science, and our good friends over at Bangtail Whiskey. Uh, check those guys out. Visit that Easy Liquor app and get that bottle sent directly to your door. More coverage tomorrow. We're going to be actually down at Old Red later on today to check out Emily Ann Roberts tonight and our good friend Matt Rogers performing some shows out there. We'll have some video coverage of that. And, of course, tomorrow about 1020 in the morning, the Nash Villains will stop by, and then we actually – it's going to be a, a slew of interviews coming up, about 30 shows over the next two and a half days. Thanks to Michaela, Kat, and everybody to put this together at the Music City Media offices. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning on the uh, Backstage Pass. Again, thanks to all the sponsors, and we'll see you soon.